Hello, you're on the Space Daily News channel. Rocket Lab just did something we have never seen before. Rocket Lab sent 34 satellites to orbit on May 2nd with its two-stage electron launcher, which lifted off from the company's New Zealand site. After sending the satellites on their way, the electrons' first stage come back down to Earth under parachutes. About 15 minutes after lift-off, as the booster glided toward the Pacific Ocean, a helicopter sidled up close to it and snagged the parachute line with a hook. The chopper pilots ended up releasing the booster, as they were not happy with the way it was flying, but not big deal, the rocket splashed down safely and the ship is loading it now, Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck said via Twitter. He was referring to the company's recovery ship, which will transport the booster back to Terra Firma for inspection and analysis. Space fans are already familiar with the reusable rockets thanks to SpaceX, which commonly lands and reflies the first stage of its Falcon 9 rocket. Falcon 9 first stage land using engine burns to steer themselves to soft vertical touchdowns on land or drone ship platforms at sea. But the 18 meters electron is too small to do that. The first stage boosters cannot carry sufficient fuel to have enough left hour for landing operations. So the company settled on the helicopter snack strategy. During the mission, which was 26 overall for Rocket Lab and Electron, the 34 satellites provided by a variety of customers were deployed as planned into a sun-synchronous orbit about 520 km above Earth by an hour after liftoff. The total number of satellites lofted by Electron to date now stands at 146. Electron won't be the only launcher in Rocket Lab's stable for much longer, if all goes according to plan. The company is developing a larger rocket called Neutron, which is scheduled to fly for the first time in 2024. Neutron is designed to be partially reusable from the outset. Its first stage will make Falcon 9-like landings. This was Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned!